Hi, I'm Gianna and welcome to my channel. Today I am talking about my experience with IMATS New York City. I went for the very first time this weekend and I just want to share about my experience, some tips and tricks that I learned while planning for this event, and also a haul of the products that I bought. So I'm going to start off by explaining what IMATS is. It is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. I went to the one in New York City um, and it was April 12th through the 14th. So I just went on the 14th on Sunday. I did have to work in the salon on Friday and Saturday. So unfortunately I only went for one day but it was great to just check out the event to see if I definitely wanted to commit to the whole weekend at some point. Um, maybe next year so um, I'm gonna just talk about what I did for this event to kind of prepare for it to try to make the most of it since I was only going for one day so when I arrived on Sunday it was actually um, a lot less crowded than I thought it would be one of my friends did go on Saturday and she did say that the lines were really long at some of the booths um, mostly Morphe uh, the line was wrapped all the way around uh, so it was nice when I got there on Sunday we only had to wait for just a couple minutes until we got to the front of the line to be able to start shopping. So I would recommend if you aren't a big fan of crowds or lines maybe just go on Sunday. Um, a lot of things were sold out on Sunday that was the only downside but it was nice to just check out the event to see if this is something I would want to commit to for a full weekend at some point in the future. Um, we went in uh, we did not have to wait to get into the building and um, as soon as we went in we went right to see an interview with a celebrity makeup artist. His name is Sir John and he actually does Beyonce's makeup. So it was actually really cool to see his interview. He's very inspirational, he is really down to earth and it was really fun to be able to you know just get a lot of great information from someone who um, is just really experienced and has had a lot of success in their career as a makeup artist. So after the interview, we just shopped for the rest of the day. We just went to as many booths as we could, uh, just checked all the products out, definitely bought a lot of awesome stuff, and um, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. I bought a lot of things that I have been thinking about buying for a long time, but originally I did not want to commit you know just spending the money on it because you know it's something new so at IMATS everything pretty much all the products there have um, some type of discount so some booths you know discount more than others sometimes they will have most of their products at discount and then some just at regular price but um, I definitely had really good luck with um, finding pretty much everything on the list that I wrote down beforehand that I wanted to buy going in there and there were a lot of awesome um, you know models and demos going on and you were really able to swatch every product which was really fun and um, everyone at the booth were really nice really helpful so it was fun to just really be um, in that environment it's a lot more um, interactive and a really fun shopping experience as uh, opposed to shopping online or shopping just in Sephora or Mac or something like that so it was really fun. I wanted to share some of my top tips that will be helpful for you if you decide to go to an event like this or go to IMATS this year or next year. Um, what was really helpful for me is to research the brands and booths that were going to be at the event and then research what products they have and what you would like to buy when you go and write them all down beforehand. I just kept the list in my phone and it was really helpful, you know, so I didn't have to try to think and remember or have to Google things. It just was, you know, written down and I was able to just, you know, go right up to the booth, grab what I needed, and get on to the next one so I can cover as much ground as possible. My next tip is to bring either a backpack or um, some type of luggage that you can roll. I brought a smaller backpack, um, but it was definitely big enough to hold most of my things that I bought, some of the smaller things. Uh, my friend did bring luggage, like a rolling luggage, and that was really helpful, so she didn't really have to carry anything. And I actually wound up buying um, a new makeup kit for work so it's 
awesome because it was able I was able to actually put a lot of the things that I bought in there um, walking around because that did roll too so just either buy or bring with you some type of bag to carry your stuff around because you're going to be holding tons of shopping bags um, all around your arms for the whole day and trying to lug all that stuff if you are not prepared with a bag. Another tip for you is to bring water and snacks. There is not uh, many options at IMATS for food. There's a smaller concession stand that had some food but it's definitely overpriced and it's helpful for you to just bring some things with you to hold you over until the event is over. So another helpful tip was to get the app. So on the IMATS website, they sent uh, they had a link uh, to the app. So it was called My Event Plan, I believe, and it gave you, you know, the map of the the floor plan. It gave you all of the information you would need to know, schedule times, speakers, an area where you could write notes so you can write you know what products you want to buy and what order you want to go to each booth so that was super helpful and another tip is to definitely go with some friends so I went with two of my friends and it was really helpful because if you kind of get stuck in a situation where the lines are really long and you don't want to stand together in all of the lines you can divide and conquer so you could give each other a list of things that you want at a few different booths and you can each stand in line for each other so that you're all not standing in line as for as long so that's really helpful and my last tip is to set a budget it is so easy to just go crazy and spend so much money at this event I only went on Sunday so that was helpful if I would have went Saturday and Sunday I probably would have spent double the money that I did so I'm glad I just had a certain number in mind just going in there. I am going to get into the haul of all of the products that I bought at IMATS and I also wrote down um, some of the prices that they had at IMATS versus the prices that these products usually are. So I definitely saved a lot of money buying makeup at this event. So I was able to stock up on things for myself, stock up on things for my kit, my, for work and also just to try new products that I've been wanting to try for a long time. So I definitely bought most of my items from Morphe I would say. Um, they had really good deals. When I got there it did seem a little picked over because I did go on Sunday. I think if I would have went on Saturday I probably would have gotten even more. So one of the first things I got at Morphe was the Continuous Setting Mist. So this is an awesome setting spray. Um, that has really great reviews and feedback so I really wanted to try this so I got that I also got another one of their sponges this is my favorite makeup sponge I've tried the beauty blender I've tried the real technique sponge I've tried a couple other brands but this is absolutely my favorite one so I wanted to get another one of these to stock up I also got a brush it's the morphe r31 so this is um, a really great brush for applying highlighter so it just looked really nice so I decided to give that a try I also got one of Morphe's brow pencils so I got their micro brow pencil in biscotti so it looks like a nice taupe shade I also got two lip liners their lip liners were literally two dollars there and they're normally four so they were half off um, so that was really great and I got two I'm sorry one liquid lipstick so I wanted to try the formula for that because I have not tried their liquid lipsticks yet I got two of their lip glosses just nice like nude pink shades and I got two lipsticks and I also got a mixing palette with a spatula so this I am definitely going to use for my kit. This thing is so cool, I'll show you. So you can see it's got all of these little wells for you to put your foundations, concealers, lip products, and it comes with like a little spatula that you can mix your colors together. So when you're working on clients, it's much more sanitary and um, it looks really professional. So I thought this was a really cool item to, um, 
add to my kit and I think it was only like $10. It was really cheap. I paid about $78 for it, but I went through the website and um, added up what it would be if I bought it from the Morphe website and it would be $99 about. So I, I saved about like $21 getting all of these products at IMAX versus just ordering them online or buying them at the Morphe store. So it's definitely a really good deal. So I really do wish I could have bought a little more, but on Sunday they they were definitely sold out of a lot of colors. Um, hopefully next year I can go on Saturday and make a bigger dent in the Morphe booth. I also stocked up on my favorite primer. So I got two of them. I love this primer. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. So this stuff is amazing and they were only $20 each at the Too Faced booth and normally they are $34 each so that's a really big savings another product that I've had on my list that I've really been wanting to try for my kit is this moisturizer and makeup primer in one so I'm probably going to butcher the name but it's called Embroilise or Embroilise I don't know sorry right in the comments some type of uh you know description on how to pronounce this if you know so um, this is supposed to be a makeup primer primer and a moisturizer um, it's kind of like a multifunctional product and it just was really nice I used a little bit on my hand just to feel the consistency and this will be an awesome addition to my kit and this was their limited edition like their New York edition I don't know if you can see but it is really cute I had this cute little like redhead girl on there and I thought she looked like me <laughs> so um, I got that and normally this is $38 and I got it for 20 bucks so that's a really that's like almost half off so I thought that was a really good deal another item I got was a Sigma eyeshadow brush so this is their E35 I don't know if you can see so this is um, a really great just shading brush for the crease I also I actually already have this brush and I use it literally every single day so I just wanted to get a new one get a fresh one because mine's looking a little sad and tired so this brush it was usually um, $17 and it was $13 at the Sigma booth so I definitely saved a little bit of money there I also stocked up on two of my favorite benefit brow products I got their um, goof proof brow pencil so this is my favorite pencil that they make it's a really unique shape and it's got the spoolie on the end so it really makes it easy to fill in your brows and I got the 24 hour um, brow setter so this is just a clear brow gel and it's really strong and works really well so both of these products are normally $24 each and I got them for $14.40 each so that was a really good deal from $24 to $14.40. So that was great. A couple other products that I've really been wanting to try, but they were a little bit of a splurge if I were to buy them in Sephora. So they are Hourglass products. So I got the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder, the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So And then I also got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And I got the Hourglass Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick, so I got that as well. So these products normally, so normally the Vanish Stick and the Veil Powder, they are forty six dollars each, and I got them each for thirty two twenty each. So that's a really good savings. And then the Ambient Lighting Powder is normally forty eight dollars, and I got that for thirty three sixty. So that was a really good deal. So normally, I don't know if I would spend that much money to try out something new. So I was really excited to try these at such a great price point. I also went to MAC. They definitely had kind of a limited stock of products. They just had select items there. But it, it was just enough that you felt like you picked through um, a good amount of products. But I know that they have such a huge line. So I kind of wish they had a little bit more color options. but. What I got there was um, their Dazzle Shadow Liquid. So it's like a liquid eyeshadow and it's really shiny and really, really pretty. So I got that in the shade Love Yourself. So it's a really pretty like pink rose gold color. 
And I also got one of their new lipstick formulas. It's their Powder Kiss Lipstick. It is a, like a more sheer powder finish and you could also use it as a cream blush and it just looks like a really beautiful lipstick um, texture as well. So I got it in the color Sultriness. So it's a really pretty like pinky shade. Um, it's $22 and I got it for uh, $15.40. And then the new Powder Kiss lipsticks, they were not on sale because they are new. So they, it was just $19. So some certain products that are new, they had them there to sell, but they were not on sale. But I would say a majority of the products at all of the booths did have some type of discount. The next product is um, one from Inglot. It is their pure pigment eyeshadow so this is one of the Jennifer Lopez special edition eyeshadows and it is a really pretty loose pigment it's super like shimmery and metallic and I got it in the shade silver dollar and it's kind of like a silvery pink so I thought that would be a great topper for that liquid um, dazzle what is it called dazzle shadow by Mac so you can use the dazzle shadow as um, a primer for other shadows so um, it will just look super like shiny and glittery so I thought they would pair really well together so that's why I got that probably my biggest item that I bought was my kit so it was um, pretty much a suitcase for all of my makeup for when I travel to do weddings and events so I got that from the Nigel Beauty Emporium booth and it's awesome it fits so much and it actually has drawers inside of it and there's a lot of organization so I'm gonna insert a clip of just this whole kit so this is normally um, $250 and I bought it at IMAX for 120 so that was an amazing deal and I definitely um, you know checked out a couple different booths that were selling professional makeup kits and um, there was another brand called Zuka that's super popular. I did look at their kits, but they weren't offering that big of a discount with their items, and I didn't think there was as much room for organization in their kits as well. I felt like um, I went in there wanting to buy one of those, and I actually looked at it in person and was not that impressed. And then when I saw this kit, I definitely felt like it seemed like I could keep much more organized with it. So that was it for my IMATS experience tips and haul video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some great information if you are looking to attend this event. And please leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you attended, I would love to hear your experience. Please subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon.